What's up, everybody? My name's Lisa. For those of you that don't know, so I was just moved to do a reading. Actually, I've been moved like all day ever since I got back from boxing, but which I love. But anyway, um, I wanted to finish my personals and stuff today, so I did that. <clears throat> but I started hearing, don't do me like that. Lord, I love you, baby. Don't, don't, don't do me like, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard the song, but I don't know who sings it or what it's called. But that's the song I'm hearing as I'm tapping into the collective energy. So let's see. What's going on? Ooh, see? There's some spying. There's some, I'm hearing sharp communication. Someone's withholding communication. They want to talk to you. Look at look at her. She looks so sad. I feel like this person doesn't know what to say. Yeah, see, look, see? Ten of swords. And it's like, um, I they could even be waiting to hear from you. Yeah, this person, look, feels left out. Look at this. Aw. <sighs> Queen of swords. This is somebody that could have taken advantage of you. I feel like this is the, see, it's like, look, this person's like watching this queen of swords. Okay. This page of swords is watching the queen of swords. I don't know which side you are. You're just going to have to like pick because I feel like honestly, both sides are watching. Okay. So it's like, this page of swords is looking at this queen of swords who is open to communicate. If you talk about the truth, if you talk about something real. Okay. But she's also extremely intimidating sitting there in her throne in this like, Ooh, but look, look what just came out from behind as I went to put the deck down the queen of cups. This is what she's not revealing. Okay, this is what this Page of Swords doesn't know is like that whoever is this Queen of Swords actually has a cup of love to offer. But you see how it's like she, this is behind. It's like hidden. She's keeping it hidden. She's this Queen of Swords is not revealing the way that she truly feels. And whoever's watching that wants to talk to this Queen of Swords scared this this connection could have ended this could be a mother and daughter okay or like just a parent like this could there's like some sort of age difference could be an age difference like parent child or the thing is is that what this person doesn't know is that whomever they want to come talk to actually has love for them. All right. What else? What is crossing this here? Wow. I heard, yes, this is your soulmate. And you see how like, this is like a I'm really getting like, there's age difference. I'm really getting like parent child. Okay. So honestly, it's, it's like, um, there's a merging with your inner child also happening here. Yeah, because you see how, look look at how the child in this picture is going to take the cup, okay? So it's then, the child has the two cups. It's like sh she gets to merge, like become balanced on her own, all right? This is like a totally different twist here. Definitely something that you're new at. <sighs> Mm 
but there's also a healing here. I, I feel between like a, a parent child. Okay. Or just like, there's some sort of like age gap in the connection. All right. What's going on beneath the surface? There's a lot going on here. I'm getting a bunch of different messages. All right. What's going on beneath the surface? Emotional fulfillment, okay? Nine of Cups. This is healing. This is like feeling satisfied, okay? Having what you want. See, this is what's not being revealed. Is that it's like wish fulfillment for both of you to reunite. Okay, this could be like... I don't, I don't know, like maybe there's been like some sort of distance between you and a parent figure or you and a child. And this is, um, look, you see how the lighthouse is back there? It's like you're both being guided back to each other. But also it's like this whole soulmate energy as well as like, as far as like a counterpart. Wow. Wow. I'm hearing tight lipped. Okay. Because what's, what's, what's going on beneath the surface is that somebody is like the nine of cups is about emotional fulfillment, but somebody's being very tight lipped about it. Okay. The king of swords, this king of swords has gone through this major transformation, but I don't feel like this king of swords is talking about it either. They might just be watching that queen of swords. All right, what's going on in the foundation here? There's the Queen of Swords again. See, very, like, wanting to be there. The Queen of Swords wants to be there. And even if you, like, look at her, like, her face is soft. Like, she looks like, um, uh, they're showing me Sleeping Beauty, Princess Aurora. So maybe this queen of swords is just like waking up to this like energy, this kind of energy. Wow. This is what like, she's like woken up from like <laughs> this energy from the devil. She's cutting this out. This is why she's appearing so different. Okay. She's like X this out. This is why she's all about the truth now. Yeah, there's enormous growth here, okay? I feel like this Queen of Swords is the one that's like kind of like gone through this merger with with their inner child, okay? Which is like allowing them to like just show up brand new, but I also feel that it's like there it's what it's also allowing is like a reconnection with someone from your past, whether or not this is like past life. For some of you this is literally a child or a parent that you have been, you may have never met or you haven't seen each other in a long time. But I definitely feel like somebody's trying to come up with the words to say. Okay, the recent past. It's the recent past. Seven of Pentacles. So there's been a lot of waiting in regards to this. It's been a lot of effort put into the growth, the healing, the learning how to use your words. Yeah, see, to come into balance. I just heard the spark of life. This could have been an on again, off again relationship. All right. What's going on with, I just heard making peace with my past. Okay. So give me one card for representative of the viewer, please. Okay. Guarded protecting what's yours. Okay. This is why you want the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. I, Cause I feel like, yeah, look, see, it, it's, it's like, look, and here's the king of wands. Like you're, you're protecting yourself against this, like whatever the seven of swords is, like 
whether it's like the freaking sabotage in your mind that you can do. It's like you're pulling out all your defenses here, okay? Because you've seen the truth. So you're no longer in denial, all right? So it's like, yeah, I'm hearing call a spade a spade. It's like this person is willing to call a spade a spade. And you don't even have to be like eye to eye with them. Like, you, like I feel like you're getting like a bird's eye view of... Um, all truth in, in your situations, all partnerships, relationships, you're focused on your own emotional fulfillment. Like what brings, it's like, you see how it's like, what's happening beneath the surface is like, it's like you are, I just heard inner peace. Okay. It's like, what's behind that curtain? Well, you get to know, okay. Who else gets to find out what's behind that curtain? Well, that's determined on what I see from up here because I feel like you're getting like a an outside view or an overall view of your situation. Yeah, look. Which is helping you know how to take action. But there's also someone who knows. Yeah, see? Look, like you're fucking over it. Somebody's over it. And this is kind of like what sparked this change, all right? I also feel like somebody is really fucking waiting because there was a phone like laying there on the floor. Like, it's like they're waiting for a call, a message, a response. I just heard a response. All right, what's coming towards... This person. Oh, that's too many. Hold on. One card, please. Look, everything's fine. See, this is the worry. This is what you're... Somebody's super worried, but there's nothing to worry about. You see? Because there's two cards like this. One of them says Ten of Swords. And the other one says everything's fine. All right? And you see, again, like, she's looking at her phone. Like, somebody's waiting for a message. Somebody's stressing out about sending a message. Look, this is something, look, see, again, with the waiting and looking at the phone, see? Somebody wants to communicate, yeah, and look, and somebody's, like, focused on rebuilding, like, moving forward. Someone's made a choice here, but still waiting on a call here, possibly about, like, traveling or, like, well, there's, like, movement, moving to be separated look see again look see I don't know when I get the threes like this it's like for me it's a three-party situation so there was like some sort of interference it could be distance okay uh because there was like that big thing of water there all right like it's I feel like somebody had to move for work and so it's like now they're separated from who they love all right um but it's like they're into their craft or they're they're going there for learning or something. Somebody's being moved for, you see how she's like, it's like she's being mentored by someone, right? To perfect her craft. But this, you know, three of pentacles is all about rebuilding. Okay. Right. Like after this, like, ending this huge fucking ending all right and so maybe like yeah i just started hearing she don't know i got some big big plans all right so somebody's like fighting or on their way i don't know there's a big shift coming in here look here's this king of so this, this is two people that um intellectually like they 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 are a match. They're both extremely smart. Got a lot of wisdom. Both having transformed. But I feel what's yet to be discussed here is emotions. One could just be a little bit more immature in regards to their emotions. All right. The best possible outcome here. Wow, it's like equal give and take. And look, here's this ten of swords. So it's like 
an ending to things being off balance, an ending to three-party situations. Yeah, see, look at this. Here's the burden, an ending to, like, ignoring burdens, okay, to this, like, something about like doubt and neglect I'm hearing look things that are hidden okay this is the, the rebirth all right let's see give me one of these what is this high priestess about wow yeah see look at this See, something, something's coming to light. Like something is no longer going to be hidden. And it brings about like a total change, a total shift in, in, in life. And which allows for like this, look, this energy, look at this queen of wands and empress energy. Somebody could definitely have a choice here too. But I feel like this is like status. There's something here about status and growth. But the sun card is, all, is about healing. It's the happiest card in the deck. Yeah, look at this. Dreams coming true. See? I'm telling you, it's like, look, closing out of a cycle. There's some sort of freedom coming in here, okay? It's an end to being blind to situations or it's, it's knowing who to let in. And look, this is tread thoughtfully. Okay. So I just heard, watch your mouth. <laughs> oh. Hold the course, staying focused. Okay. Keep the eye, your eye on the prize, wherever you're headed. Just like, just, it's like, um, chin up, eyes forward. Cause there's, there was heartache here. So there's some, something ending here. Look, the time is now answering the call. The time is now answering the call and cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. Yeah, this is totally transformation. There's huge healing happening here. Look, lie back and rest, whatever you need, whatever. Like, I feel like you need to know there's enough time. You're not running out of time. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The Page of Cups. Okay, this is a new beginning, a fresh start, a, an apology. Okay, the Six of Cups. That's like the soulmate energy that came through before. But also, it's like this inner child thing. You see, it's like parent-child. Okay, there's like some sort of healing going on here. You know, maybe you, you, you grant yourself your new beginning. Okay. But this is like the universe offering you, I heard a leg up, a new opportunity. And it's like a dream come true. I mean, you got the sun and the nine of cups twice and you're closing out this cycle. Yeah, look at this judgment and then boom, coming together with yourself. And again, look, parent and child. Okay. There's something here about an understanding between parent and child, but also an understanding of like where you get to parent your own inner child, you know, maybe whatever, maybe like you went through some sort of neglect as a child and you get to just kind of like cradle your own inner child back to health, back to like learning how to love again. It really sets you free. This is, this feels like freedom. I'm telling you, this is so freaking beautiful. You could have like even had some sort of um, mentor, you know, that's kind of like guiding you, um, whether that's like through therapy or even just like through watching um, tarot, tarot or just having somebody like a, a support, like that allows like a different insight into like a view into, yeah, see crown chakra. Yeah. Look, see, and then you get to like, boom, pal, take charge of your life. But let's not like, we can't ignore the fact that we have the emperor and the empress. Listen, even if you're not talking, you both know that this is coming. Okay. And I feel like it's because there's a massive, 
like awareness of this healing. I, I, I'm telling you, when I look at this card, it's just this healing. It, you see, it's like this, this parent child. It's like the, the parent comes and says, here, this is what, this is what I should have gave you or something like that, you know, or somebody else offers it. This is you giving this to yourself. I feel more than anything like you parenting that part of you like awakening. And it just changes everything. It changes all your connections and allows for you to like meet your true partner because you're no longer like in search of somebody to like give you this because you've learned how to give it to yourself. Oh my God. I fucking love you guys. You're freaking rock stars. I love you. I freaking love you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so honored to just like be on this journey with you. And, um, you know, we grow together and it's just amazing. And I'm just very honored by it. And, um, yeah, so there you go. Bye.